Hey everyone, welcome, I am Mr. Bow, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you where to find four hidden collectible helmets and hats located in the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. So that includes the Morian helmet, the Viking helmet, the Tricorn or Pirate hat, and then finally the Miner's hat. So to begin with, let's go after the Morian helmet. So in order to find this helmet, you're going to need to head to the northwest of the map in Amberino, and you want to head to the Grizzlies West by Mount Hagen. Now this helmet is located around about the M of Mount Hagen, where my waypoint is. If you head up there, you will discover a frozen body surrounded by some rocks. You can either inspect the body to draw it in your journal, or you can walk up and pick up its helmet, and that will be the Morian helmet unlocked. That will now be available in your wardrobe. Moving on from there, we can then go on to get the Viking helmet. So we're going to need to go to the northeast of the map by Ansberg. Now just north of Ansberg, by the Roanoke Valley, where my marker is along this road, if you head there, you should be able to find a clearing in the forest, and this is a burial site. You can head down into it, and you'll notice there's sort of a skeleton laying out on this rock. There is actually a Viking hatchet there, but if we head to the tunnels at the back and we walk in there, eventually you should be able to find the Viking helmet and swap it for your current hat. And again, that'll put it in your collection, so you can take it off and when you head to your wardrobe, it'll be there for you. Now the third hat is the Tricorn hat, and this is located just to the west of Rhodes. So if you're in Chapter 3, you will have a camp just to the west of Rhodes, and continuing west from there, there'll be this little island. Now if you swim over to this island, and you head to where my waypoint is, you'll notice that there is an old wooden ship. You can head into that ship, you can climb over, and you'll be able to find the Tricorn hat simply there. Again, putting it on will add it to your collection. Now the final hat is the Miner's hat, and this is going to be down on the southwest side of the main section of the map, just to the north of Strawberry and to the west of Mount Shan, where my marker is located. You should be able to see this pathway that is above some text. You want to head all the way to the end of that pathway and you will find the mine entrance. Now if you head down into that mine, you'll notice that it is blocked off at the end. Well, near the beginning of the mine entrance, you will actually find a detonator that you can go ahead and use. That will blow up the rubble, allowing you to go into the mine further, crawl through the cave, and through into another room, and eventually you will be able to find the dead miner on the floor. Located next to him will be the miner's hat, which you go ahead and pick up, and he will also have a little dagger in him as well that you can go ahead and pick up as well if you'd like. So there you have it, those are the four hidden collectible helmets and hats in the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Here's a better look at them in your wardrobe, I think they're pretty cool. The Miner's hat does also have a light on it, so maybe you're at night, you can put this hat on and you don't have to worry about bringing up your light, it'll be straight on your hat. Of course, if there are more helmets and hats hidden out through the world, especially down the southwest in Blackwater, which you can only reach near the end of the game, I'll be sure to do a video showing you where you can find those. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give the like button a big old hug. You can also feel free to subscribe for more gaming content and coverage, and if you do, be sure to boop that bell icon so you're notified when my future videos go live. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.